Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa. And if you are new here, then you might not be familiar with my updated Madrid collection videos, but I actually do make quite a few every few months. The last one I made was about seven months ago. So this updated video has over 40 items. So because of that, I'm going to be splitting this video into two different videos. The first video, the one that you're watching right now is going to be covering necklaces, rings, as well as some accessories. And then in the second video, I'm going to be going over earrings, earring charms, as well as bracelets. If you guys aren't familiar with the brand Majuri, I absolutely love their stuff and I have so many items from them. So if you guys are interested, I have even more YouTube videos on other Majuri items, including all of my updated collection videos. I also have videos on styling. So if you guys are curious about how to style certain items, I have these series of videos here. And on top of that, I also have a website. So if you're interested in seeing every single thing I ever own from Majuri, Majuri, you can check out my website, lisaway.com slash Majuri. This video is also in partnership with Majuri. So if you use any of the links down below, you get an automatic 10% off your entire purchase if this is your first time. So make sure you check out the links down below. The discount will be applied automatically upon checkout. So without further ado, let's get started on the first category, which is rings. So like I said, I have so many items to share this time. For rings, I have 11 rings to show you guys. So I'm just going to start off with the ones that are orange already on my hand. The first two are actually very new to me. These are the two that I'm reviewing this month. So the first one is from their new collection, which is all about figures. And I just absolutely love the shape of this. I just think that the item itself is so unique. If you look at the shape of this ring, it is just literally as the name describes it's like a figure it has a very unique design and what i like about it is that it gives a pretty good design and statement on your hand the second one is from their flower collection and i absolutely love this because i feel like the flower collection is so perfect for the spring and summer as you guys can see i also got little flowers on my fingers as well just to match the upcoming warmer season and welcoming spring and summer so this one is super cute i also really like this because because this one is in solid gold and it has little aspects of diamond. And I also forgot to mention, but this one is in gold vermeil. So make sure you do take this off when you shower and ideally if you wash your hands, etc. The next ring that is new since you have seen me seven months ago from an updated Madrid collection is this heart ring. And I absolutely love this ring because I have actually collected a lot of items from their heart collection. I don't know if it's kind of like the kid in me, but ever since I was little, I've always been obsessed with the classical conventional things that make everything super feminine like I love pink I love hearts I love flowers I love princesses etc you guys are very much on that vibe and I feel like recently there's a TikTok trend that is literally labeling this vibe as the la 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 girl or like whatever whereas like the okay 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 girl is like more edgy badass etc but anyway if you are also a huge fan of hearts i absolutely love this ring and that entire collection so make sure you check out the collection because it comes in so many more different colors and metals etc you're actually gonna see some of it in some of the items i'm going to be sharing with you guys later but in the meantime time this is the one that I have in solid gold and I absolutely love this ring so much the band is also very thin which also makes it super comfortable to wear it with the next item I have is another solid gold statement piece and it is this ring right over here it is just a classic ring which has like a pretty thick band and it has aspects of diamonds all around the ring and I just feel like it makes me feel like royalty I don't know why this ring just kind of reminds me of a crown but in a ring form so I absolutely love this ring and because it's very very symmetrical I find it extremely easy to pair the ring that I'm pairing it with is one that you guys would have already seen from a long time ago this is their chain ring so I just find that it's very easy to layer and easy to stack and I feel like it's a really really good medium piece between a statement piece and a dainty piece so for example I would categorize this ring as more a statement piece and then obviously the chain ring ring more as a dainty piece and I feel like the one that I just showed you is a very classic like middle ground type of piece the next item that I have for you is another very dainty piece it is this ring right here which is what I paired with the heart ring and this one I just love 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 the design of it so much it is very dainty and the entire design of it just reminds me of rope so I'm gonna put it against my classic 
thumb ring. This is the thumb ring that I have worn since the beginning of time. I feel like this is one of the first pieces, not the first, I will always remember my first ring from a jury, which was the boyfriend stacker, which I think they renamed it to the daily stacker now. But this is still one of the first rings I have ever received from a jury, and I love it so much. It is always my thumb ring. Like, I just refuse to put it anywhere else on my hand. I'm gonna put it right beside it for you guys to kind of see the difference. The first one is obviously just like very tiny little spheres, and then the second one is actually just, it has this like roping detail. I feel like regardless, of what design you end up picking between one or the other. I feel like A, both of them make really good thumb rings and B, they even if you don't use them as thumb rings, they make really, really good classic pieces to stack. We still have two, four, six. We still have six more rings to go, so I'm going to speed this up. The next ring I have is the heirloom ring. This is the heirloom ring and the one that I got is in kind of like the ruby stone. They have so many more stones, but I absolutely love this ring because I just feel like this ring gives once again this like royalty vibe. I don't know why I feel like when I put on this ring, I feel so powerful. <laughs> like I honestly feel like Cleopatra. Like I don't know why of every famous royal person that I know of, the one that pops in my head is Cleopatra, which by the way, I'm watching their documentary right now on Netflix, but I just feel like this ring is so, so cute. And I also feel like this is a really, really cool ring to kind of gift out. I actually, got Sarah this ring for her birthday or is it Christmas? Actually, no, I think I got it for her for Christmas. So we have matching heirloom rings and I just feel like this one is a very, very good piece to kind of like match with someone who means a lot in your life. Um, obviously the ring itself is a little bit pricey. It is not the cheapest ring out there, but it is so gorgeous and I'm just so in love with it. Like from the details, not even from how you look at the ring up front, but even from the details from the side like this, every little detail is so beautiful and everyone that I know that has this ring is just absolutely in love with it. The next ring that I have is from their Emerald collection. You guys might have seen this in the Majuri video that I actually filmed with with my boyfriend. I don't know if you guys saw that. I will show you more products from that video a little bit later but this is one of the very subtle items that I wore in that Instagram video. You guys will recognize this because it is like the perfect hybrid of a lot of their existing products. As you guys may or may not know I have the diamond open ring from Majuri it's like um, two diamond spheres or circles and it's also an open ring obviously I have the baguette ring a lot of you know it is one of my favorite rings from Majuri and now they have the baguette style in green and they also made it the open ring it's just such a great blend of product and I absolutely love this ring it is so cute and it's just I love that green pop up I, I feel like like also green has made a really really strong comeback in the last few years so if you are someone who is also a huge fan of green I definitely recommend checking their emerald collection they have a lot of products and I'm actually going to show you a few more so stay tuned for those as well the next two rings I want to share with you are two gold vermeil rings these ones are once again gold vermeil so make sure you take it off when you shower etc the first one is another ring that I would consider sort of like not a delicate dainty ring but also not really a statement ring I would say that this is definitely in between but this one is pretty much almost like my thumb ring but there's two of them stacked together so if that's your vibe and you're not someone that wears your rings to sleep to shower anyway um, I definitely recommend checking this one out it is just so pretty and like I said I just feel like if you kind of miss my spiel from my earlier videos if you are new here pretty much the difference between solid gold and gold vermeil is that solid gold is a type of metal that because the entire thing is gold you can wear it when you shower sleep etc wash your hands with soap etc like i am known for wearing my jewelry and not taking it off i wear it to sleep i wear it to swim i wear it diving etc so i never take it off if you're more that type of vibe i feel like it is good to invest in a solid gold um but if you're someone who's always going to take off your stuff anyway and you're a little bit more on the price conscious side i feel like you can just go with gold for me because you already take off your stuff before you shower etc anyway so um that's kind of my whole take on the whole gold for me versus solid gold regardless obviously I always still feel like when it comes to an investment piece I always still believe that solid gold is the 
way to go because you never know there's just a lot of times where you might forget to take off something and you can just leave it on it just it gives you that little peace of mind especially when you're traveling and stuff like that so the next item I want to share with you is another Gold's Vermeil piece it is this ring right here and it has two little pearls on top and I just feel like this ring is also just the most like la 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 ring in fact I purposely wore it when I filmed my nail video for these nails because I filmed it with my friend Sarah and she had more of like the okay 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 vibe and I had more like the la 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 vibe if you guys don't know what I'm talking about by the way just search up the trend on TikTok or Instagram and you will very quickly understand what both of them means but essentially I just feel like it's very cute and like I said with all of the Sophia Richie old money style kind of coming back I just feel like pearls is definitely gonna make a huge comeback so definitely check that out if this is your vibe the next one that I want to share with you is the Pave diamond ring also in white gold this one is so pretty it's very basic and actually the Pave diamond portion is only at the top it doesn't loop all the way around so I mean there's two ways you can think of it a you don't have to pay the price tag of a ring that has pave diamonds all over the entire ring because that would be so much more expensive but then also you can now kind of wear it in both ways like if you want to be really extra and show your diamonds you can wear it obviously with the diamonds facing up if you want a more low-key vibe you can just simply flip it around and wear it backwards or backwards however you want to re really look at it and just wear it like that it's a very simple white gold band around your ring which makes it super stackable moving on to necklaces starting with the necklace that is on my neck there are two parts to it the first one is the chain right here I already shared this in my last video of my favorites review this chain is very very interesting because I just actually feel like this is one of those chains that almost look like a tag it's like what you would hang around like a keychain that's kind of the chain that it looks like but it's in solid gold i really like the design of it and the length of it and how it just like hangs around my neck i also really like the pendant that i chose to go with it this one i i personally think it represents the evil eye obviously it doesn't look identical to the evil eye and if you don't know what the evil eye is it is pretty much this kind of like symbol a lot of people in the middle east Asia and Europe, I believe. I, I'm pretty sure those are the three continents that I see it kind of the most where people just believe that it kind of weans off all the bad stuff and it prevents other people from giving you bad energy so I have been really really liking wearing this especially on days that I kind of just feel down and like I said obviously it could just be psychological but for me it kind of helps me because not only is it just visually appealing for me but also I'm just like you know what it's like a placebo effect you know like hypothetically even if it didn't work as long as you think it's working then that already changes how you behave and how you kind of act around other people so personally I really really like to have this necklace around so like I said in total I have seven necklaces but this doesn't even include the difference between a pendant and a charm so this is another one that I got this time this is one that I shared with my boyfriend if you guys check out the Majuri video I actually filmed a video with my boyfriend where we did matching jewelry so his is in the titanium version and mine is in the solid gold version and this is the tag and I wanted to show you guys because it actually I like engraved his initials on there and not just his first initial but with both of his initials obviously you don't have to do that and you also don't have to engrave um, if you find it really cheesy like you know you don't have to do that but it is an option for you if you want to engrave and I just really really like how it also comes in the men's version which is in titanium and I just think it looks really really cute and I feel like it's really cute whenever we are out and we are wearing the same matching necklace it's just such a cute vibe and yeah I just really like it as promised I'm gonna show you the other items I got from the heart collection so both of them are heart necklaces so the first one is in the white gold and it is in the same heart shape but this is in white gold and it obviously has the diamonds in the front as well this one I absolutely loved because 
in my trip to Asia and also my trip to Hawaii. If you guys have watched my vlogs during that time, I did not bring any other jewelry because those two trips were pretty hectic for me. So I just didn't want to be switching in and out of my jewelry. And for that trip, I committed. I committed to wearing like the silver metal color, aka sterling silver or white gold the entire trip. So that was the trip where I wore this one and I never took it off. And I also wore the croissant and the white gold diamond pave ring but i did get the gold version as well instead of solid gold for the necklace i actually got it in the white with a gold chain this one is not in solid gold so this one is a little bit more affordable and i thought the thing that was really unique was that the front of it was actually blue instead of diamonds so i thought this was super super cute because i definitely cannot say that i own a white necklace so this was one that i thought was super adorable and it also went with a lot of my items as well the next item that i told you guys i would share with you is another from their green emerald collection this is the necklace that i got i just thought that this necklace was so dainty and so pretty for some reason this necklace reminds me of like Ireland and I'm not just saying that because it's green and like St. Patrick's Day or like whatever the stereotype But actually I have a lot of friends that were from Ireland and their jewelry had this exact Design it's not even so much the color but like the design and obviously some had the color as well But this just reminds me of like very old European and it's just a very classy vibe I really really like this necklace and I think it's so pretty so once again if green is your vibe then definitely check it out the next necklace that i got is actually i'm gonna put it on i actually intended on putting this one on specifically for this video but the next one is the bold herringbone necklace and this one is so much thicker than the original one that i had if you want a daintier version one that i've had for so long is the serpentine necklace so make sure you check that one out that one is a lot thinner and that one is in solid gold this one is not in solid gold and it's it's also a lot thicker so if you're looking more for a statement vibe then I would go with this one but obviously you just have to take it off and take care of this a lot more than the other one and obviously the price range is also reflected in the actual piece because one is entirely solid gold but I have really really enjoyed the serpentine necklace it's just that sometimes when I wanted to make a bigger and bolder statement I really wanted to opt for a thicker chain so I'm very very happy that I got this one one to kind of layer with some of my necklaces as well the last item I want to share with you in this category is actually a pendant so this is the cursive pendant for the letter L and they have a cursive pendant right now going on and I definitely recommend checking it out if you guys have been an OG watcher of my Majuri videos you will know that my biggest complaint when it comes to initials has always been what the L looks like because my first name is Lisa so I would get the L but the L is just such a boring letter and I just like I don't know it also reminds me of just like when you're in grade school and everyone's like a loser like whatever you know so then I didn't obsess over how that letter looked and I'm like why couldn't it look pretty like an S or I don't know or like an M or whatever and the diamond initial pendant just looks so good with all these other letters and I kind of always felt a little jealous that for the L it just didn't look that good but when I saw what the L looks like when it was cursive, I'm like, add to cart, like add to cart. I had to have it. I was like, for once in my life, I am satisfied with the way the letter L is written and I can wear this around my neck. So if you are someone, especially if your name also starts with L, this is our moment to shine, okay? Like literally, it's our moment to shine. It is so pretty, it is in cursive and it's very, very dainty around your neck as well. So definitely check it out. Okay, so I want to move on to accessories because obviously we all know that Majuri is about jewelry, but some of their accessories have been, let me tell you, really, really clutch. I also lied. I have four accessories. So the first one that I wanted to show you guys is this diffuser. So I'm sure you know the brand Vitruvi. It is a very popular diffuser brand. So they actually collaborated with Majuri to make this diffuser. And it is so pretty because as you guys can see, it is in the color gold and it is just what their classic diffuser looks like, but in gold. And I have not used a diffuser in a very long time. I brought one of my old ones back to Vancouver, so I haven't used it in a long time, but I started 
using this one and I love it just because I don't try too many diffusers I don't know if anybody does I feel like you just buy the one and that's it unless if you have multiple rooms but that's what I was gonna say because sometimes if I don't want to have it in my living room which is where the charger thing is placed I will just portably take this to my bedroom and this can be charged and you can oh my god I'm leaking this can be charged and you can still use it in another room so I have just been really really liking that it's been in my home and the scent that I also got from this collaboration has just such a wellness scent that it makes me feel a little bit more calm a little bit more just like you know mellow because like this adhd brain that is just so distracted all the time and i feel like I, my life is so chaotic it just gives me a really nice sense of calm and also i don't know about you guys but sometimes i'm just like the type of person that is like very self-conscious about how my house smells because sometimes i'll cook or i don't know like sometimes you know how you just like your pheromones just make a smell and sometimes i'm like does it smell good or smell bad? So whenever I'm not sure, I light a candle or I actually um, turn on a diffuser as well. The next item I wanna share is this jewelry box. I, this is probably out of all the items that I use the most, it is this jewelry box right here. Um, I finally opted for the large jewelry box and I'm freaking obsessed with it. First of all, it just, every single one of my majority items is dedicated to be in this box. So they have like a very nice ring section and they also have um, this top section, which I personally use as my most changeable, like interchangeable items. So I'll put that in the front. Then the next section, I personally put all of my earrings and statement earrings on this side. And then the last section is dedicated to my necklaces. Okay, you can't see it because now I'm trying to show you. So it's like all, <laughs> it's like fallen down to the bottom. But I assure you, it is just laid out there. So it has been honestly such a life changer for me. I needed to have a way to organize my jewelry and this box was amazing. It also comes in black, but I really, really like the beige. So definitely check that out. The next one is also another collaboration. This one is with Claude. So this is their collaboration with Claude, as you can see from here. And the reason why this one is really good is because sometimes when I wear either like, for example, my gold vermeil rings and actual items that I need to take off, I will take it off and I will put it here. This is sort of my like daily like instantly when I get home If I'm like taking off a ring or like if I wear more statement earrings This is where I'll put it instead of going all the way over to my jewelry box and categorizing and sorting there If I know that tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing the exact same jewelry items as well The last item that I will share with you is this purse right here and this is their collaboration with Luar, I don't want to butcher this name. I believe it's called Luar and it just has this really, really cute style. It kind of reminds me of the Jack Moose style, but um, it's just such a cute like statement piece. I feel like you can, you can definitely wear it with just this purse like this. It's also a lot more affordable than the Jack Moose bag, I just want to say. I just feel like it is really, really cute. You can obviously wear it like this. This also comes with a gold chain so you can put it not that you need a demo for this um but you can put it obviously over your shoulder and it's just really nice also if you open the bag it comes with a like wallet type thing and if you open it up you can just put like your little knickknacks in there if you want to put more jewelry if you want to put i don't know just like lip gloss like stuff like that i just think it's really cute truth be told i actually haven't used this bag yet i actually just got it and then i went to vancouver and then i came back and i literally have not have had a chance to use it yet so i can't exactly give a proper review and you guys know how much i like to actually use this stuff for a really long time before I can confidently say something so just a disclaimer I haven't fully reviewed this product but so far it's really nice and I really really like it but anyway that is pretty much the video for today I'm going to immediately film part two so make sure you stay tuned for the next video which I'm going to be covering earrings earring charms as well as bracelets so I will see you guys in the next video and in the meantime don't forget to use the links down below for 10% off bye